Hey guys, Sam here, and welcome to another review. So, um, when was the last time I talked about South Park? Last time I did, it was on the episode Passion of the Jew. It's not around anymore, but I do remember that there were just as many dislikes on that video as there were likes. That had to be because of the style I was using at the time. So let's try this again, except with the style I have now, and with a different episode. The season 11 finale episode, The List. It's an episode that's not only memorable and praised by a lot of people, like Made to Express, check his review out, link is in the description, but he even inspired talented animators to create a reanimated project around this episode. But of course, we must ask the big question, does it deserve that kind of attention? Is it really that good and that funny? Well, let's go ahead and have a look. And if you're new here, here's how I do things. I start with a summary first, and then my final thoughts after. Good? Okay, let's get started. One day at school, Butters tells his friends that the girls in their fourth grade class have made a hot list, which rates all the boys from hottest to ugliest. Getting curious, the boys, led by Cartman, demand to see the list from one of the girls, Bebe. Obviously, she refuses and walks away, pissing off Cartman. So he and the boys devise a plan to get the list. What's the plan? Kick one of the girls in the balls to get it. It doesn't work. So they make another plan, and this time it succeeds. So they head to the bathroom to look at it, and the list says that the hottest one is Clyde. He takes it to heart and decides to flaunt that around the school, picking up random girls and slowly turning into someone as shallow as the cordery. Now, the only one who thought it was just a waste of time and didn't really care about the list was Kyle. But when he gets a look at it, he finds out that he was voted the ugliest. Yeah, even uglier than Cartman. And this just kind of destroys him deep down. He starts doubting himself, saying everyone that calls him handsome like his family are liars, tries to feel better by hanging out with the ugly kids, and say it really doesn't matter, which doesn't work. And then he starts to get some very, very dangerous thoughts. After hearing from one of the kids about how their greatest fantasy is burning down the school, Kyle seriously starts considering it. But then the ghost of Abraham Lincoln shows up to help Kyle. It, it's South Park, they pull this kind of stuff a lot. He tries to give Kyle some good advice about how looks don't mean shit if your character, the stuff that's really important deep down inside, is not good enough to back those looks up. But Kyle refuses to listen and decides to go with the plan anyway. But before we finish his story, let's talk about how Stan gets involved. Feeling sorry for Kyle, Stan finds Wendy and asks her about the list, suggesting that maybe it was a mistake and that it could be changed. But Wendy says it's not as easy as it sounds. But she obliges and says she'll help. So she brings Stan to... Well, there's no other way to call this, but the girl government meeting, and asks if they can bring the list back up for debate. The girls in the meeting aren't exactly persuaded to do it, but they say they might if there is a technicality found in the list. So Wendy does some digging and finds out that the votes for the boys like Kyle being the ugliest and Clyde being the hottest don't add up. So she goes to one of the members with this evidence, but she finds out very fast that there is something that they are hiding and don't want to talk about. And she's even threatened to quit prodding so Wendy takes this case to the head members of the club, but she finds out that they know about this too. In fact, they deliberately made a fake list while hiding the real one. Why? Well, they wanted to put Clyde up there because he's rich and could easily buy very expensive shoes for them. So, yeah, as Dan so eloquently puts it, It was about shoes, Kyle. The girls wanted shoes, so they set you up. Anyway, how are they gonna get the real list from them? Well, Wendy kicks the girl down there, grabs it, and takes off with Stan. I guess Butters didn't get the right spot? <laughs> Why am I even saying that? Anyway, they try to find Kyle, but they're told by the kid who wants to burn the school down that Kyle was planning to do just that. So they find him and tell him the truth. But then they are cornered by an armed baby, demanding a list from them. But they won't give it up. And Wendy even says she's contacted the police about this whole thing. Baby thinks she's lying, but nope, the police do show up. So the police will show up and be serious about that issue, but not when... Eh, too easy. So Wendy attacks Baby to get the gun from her, but in the struggle, a shot is fired. But it doesn't hit Wendy or Baby. So who got hit with the bullet? <laughs> <laughs> of course. It's like if Keemstar didn't have any drama to talk about in a video. It would be kind of naked without it. So, Baby is arrested, and Kyle is given the list so he can read it. But, after finally taking all the advice he got from Lincoln to heart, he decides to not read it, and instead has Wendy burn it. Stan and Wendy have a nice heartfelt talk with each other about how great it is to be hanging out again, and it looks like they're about to kiss. 
but Stan throws up on Wendy. The end. At least in the original airing. You see, there's an alternate ending where Wendy reveals that the ugliest boy on the list was Cartman. So Cartman is sitting with the ugly kids now. He tries to make himself feel better by saying that character matters more than looks, but when he realizes who he's talking about here, he buries his face in the table. The end. <laughs> so, that's the episode. One of my thoughts? Well, it is funny. Not the funniest thing ever, but it does have some good jokes. Butters finding out girls don't have balls, Clyde trying and failing to cheer Kyle up by comparing him to the ugly Abraham Lincoln, Abe actually showing up as a ghost to help Kyle, the girl government meeting and how they run it, the posters they have in the background, Kenny dying, the subtle Pulp Fiction reference, right here, and Carmen sitting at the ugly kid's table. And there's even more, but I don't want to spoil any more jokes. Check it out for yourself. But of course, what really spoke to me the most was the episode's message. This is something that anyone can relate to. Whether you're skinny, obese, a boy, a girl, a different kind of gender, and more, everyone goes through this kind of situation at least once in their lives. So did it ever happen to me? Hell yeah, of course it did. I've always had my self-doubts. There were times where I thought my family members who would always call me cute and handsome were lying the entire time just to make me feel better. And there were times where I just had people tell me that I was ugly and more. And there were times where I was thinking to myself, do I really have that big of a nose? Are my ears really like Dumbo's? Ugh, this acne really makes me look terrible. Hell, I even got hit with that classic, this girl over there likes you prank, multiple times. So what seems like a harmless and kind of funny prank is really just absolutely cruel and just a dickish thing to do. So. Do not ever do this. I don't care if it's a boy that does it or a girl that does it or whatever you are. It's stupid, it's ridiculous, and just straight up nasty. It's not funny. Stop it. There are many who feel self-conscious about their face or their body. I've had those thoughts myself. Nose really big, or my ears like Dumbo's, blah, 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 blah. Time and time again. Nowadays, I have two sides to me when it comes to that. One day, I may think that I look decent, and if someone tells me otherwise, I'll tell them that they can kiss my ass. But on another day, I mean, I like what I see. But that's all right. Everyone feels this way, whether you are ugly or flawless. Honestly, no one really is that ugly or flawless. Someone could look at me and say I look fine. Others could call me handsome, and the rest could call me butt ugly. But what really matters at the end of the day is what I, and I alone, think of myself. It's important to have self-confidence in your body, face, and overall character. You want to be the best person you can be. And yeah, we do like when we get complimented on that. But just don't let that go to your head. Honestly, me to express, <laughs> express this in the best way possible in his video on the episode. We want to be thought of as attractive by the majority of people we run into because we want more girls to like us. Or if you're a girl watching this video, we want more guys to give us validation. But let's say, for example, you were considered the hottest guy or girl in your school. So you get the sex and validation easily and effortlessly, and you think that's the dream life, but you're sadly mistaken. You see, because you've lived your whole life spoiled, unsatisfied, and haven't stayed disciplined, it leads you to making foolish decisions. And it isn't until you finally reach your 30s and your looks start to fade when you finally realize you've done absolutely nothing meaningful in your life so far, then hook up with a bunch of men or women, and none of them were wife or husband material. Exactly. If someone finds me attractive, fine. But if you only like me for my looks and nothing else, then you aren't the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone who sees me for who I am. I want someone who is willing to understand me, and if I find that person someday, I will return the same sentiments back. And remember, there can be ugly people who are assholes and flawless people who are great, but the opposite of that happens too. All in all, this episode is just saying, don't be shallow and conceited, but also don't be thinking there's no hope either. You're great in your own special way. Be the best you that you can be. That is my philosophy. Be the best me I can be. I know it sounds like a corny song lyric, but it's true. That's why I love this episode. Not just because it's funny and memorable, but also because it's relatable and inspiring. 
Now, is it perfect? Uh, no, I did have some personal gripes with it. One, I could see Karma giving Kyle a hard time about being the ugliest, but not Butters. I don't know, I just didn't find it that funny. I guess it's important for the story, but I've always seen Butters as a nice, albeit naive, character. I get some people can find it funny, and I know I'm not the biggest South Park aficionado, but I guess it just didn't get me. Two, I wish they kept Cartman's karma scene as the real ending to the episode, instead of ending it with Stan puking on Wendy. I know I praised the Kenny dying running gag earlier, but that's because I found that one creative. This was very predictable, and I knew it was coming. And third, there can be a bit of filler in the episode. Sometimes they may hold onto a shot for a lot longer than they should have. One example was when Kyle was sitting at the ugly kids table. And look, I get it, it's supposed to be quiet and uncomfortable, but I didn't find it funny. I guess it's like that family guy joke that goes on for a long time. It's kind of hit and miss for me. When it hits, it hits. When it misses, it really misses. And this time, it just missed for me. But aside from that, I have no more complaints. It's a great episode to watch. Not just for the laughs, not just for the storyline, but also for its message. It definitely hit close to home for me, and I've got a feeling it'll do the same to you. So the final score for The List is a 9 out of 10. A great episode that I highly recommend. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and also my Twitter link is down there in the description as well. As well as the video that I just showed that's made by me to express. Check his channel out too. And great news guys, as I was making this video, my channel finally hit 400 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for the support. Every little bit of love helps, and it's really nice to see this channel starting to do well because you know, my old channel's gone, over like 2300 something subscribers was there, and to, ha and to have that all gone and having to start all over again, it definitely was tough. But thank you guys for all the support. So hopefully that number keeps on growing. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and as always, my name is Sam, and mwah, good night everybody.